Marhaba and hello everyone with you here is Russia the Arab Gamer gaming from the Arab world and today I'd like to show you guys how you could use the DualShock 4 on your PC using one simple app. Now I know there are a lot of apps online, um, a lot of tricks and tips to get your DualShock 4 running on your PC because personally I think it is the best controller that came out this generation, just my opinion. But um, so yeah, basically I wanted to look for a way to use it on my PC and do it in like the simplest way possible. Thankfully, I found a really, really cool app online and I don't think a lot of people are using it. In fact, most of the people I'm talking to never even heard of this app. So let me be, I guess, one of the first few people to introduce it. Uh, it's called Input Mapper. It's basically designed to let your Windows PC recognize your PS4 controller as an Xbox 360 controller. Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds kind of stupid, but the reason behind this is because a lot of PC games, in fact, all the new PC games are all pretty much developed with an Xbox 360 controller in mind. Now, thankfully, the DualShock 4 is designed with the same sort of layout as the Xbox 360 controller, but of course it feels different. And you know, the feeling is what it's all about. So um, you basically download this application. Um, you, uh, after you install it, it's a very simple install process. It will literally tell you everything that you need to install. You just hit next and it'll download all the necessary files and then you'll get this app. Let me just look it up and here it is. This is the input mapper. There are some ads if you want to remove them, but you don't need to do any weird tricks with your Bluetooth or with your driver settings. Now, a lot of people used to complain that MotionJoy used to reconfigure your Bluetooth adapter so that it works only with MotionJoy and cause a lot of headaches. But this one, it's literally just plug and play. As I will demonstrate, this is a DualShock 4. This cable is plugged in to my PC. So I will just plug it in like that. And there you go, it's detected my controller and it works perfectly fine. Now, how do you know this is working? A really cool trick. That's right, you can actually use the touchpad as a mouse. This is one of the most essential things that, that makes that makes this experience so much better because there are so many PC games that use the controller but sometimes they put the mouse cursor on the title menu and you have to find the wireless mouse or or try to go back to your desktop PC because I game from the PC game from the couch so instead I would just do this and just move the mouse off the screen and it's also handy if I want to launch an app uh, I could just go to my start menu I could launch some apps so it's, it's really really useful and it works precise it's not like laggy or anything it, it, it works really good so um, I'll show you guys also some other cool tricks you can do um, you will go to your profiles you can create a profile I already created a profile called ace but I will create a new profile for you guys um, let's see I'll call it I'll call it VGS okay hit save now you can do a lot of interesting things here. You could change the color. You could change the lighting and everything. So first of all, let me just change the profile. So I'll change it to VGS because right now it's set to Ace. I'll change it to VGS. Go to profile. We'll mess around with this. So as you can see right now, when it's fully charged, it shows a heartbeat. So it's like, heartbeat blue but if I can if I want to while it's fully charged I can change it into a rainbow hit save and boom the the light bar actually changes you can play around with this you can even set your own color because the the the, the light bar actually displays all sorts of colors and I think it displays all the colors you can even do strobe light so strobe light effect and of course you could just mess around with the colors so if you go to solid color for example just change it to red purplish you can do anything you want any color you want okay put a little green in there i don't know such a weird color but uh let's go with that 
and there you go any color you want and if you're playing wirelessly uh, you could actually indicate the the power level or the power level the battery level I'm watching too much dragon ball uh, you can indicate the uh, battery level using the light bar so if it's green that means it's full if it's red that means it's low so it's a good way to know if you want to like plug in your DualShock 4 or if you're good to go for a couple of more hours uh, either way you can still find out the battery level from the home screen using this app um, so finally I'm sure you all must be wondering how do you get this working with Bluetooth it's very simple I'll disconnect the cable you go to your Bluetooth options you go to PC Bluetooth. Now I already paired the controller, but I will remove it just to demonstrate. So if you want to pair your Bluetooth controller, you got to hold the option or sorry, the share button and the PlayStation button. You hold them together. And eventually you should see a blinking light and you can see that here I can pair it up. So I pair it up. And that's it. It just installs everything, let this thing go. But you can use your PlayStation 4 controller on your PC wirelessly. Now, of course, it depends what kind of Bluetooth adapter you're using. Personally, I think you should be using the Asus one. It's the best one I, I got, and it, it doesn't show any latency or lag. So if you do want a really good Bluetooth adapter, or if you don't have one, I highly recommend getting the Asus. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to use a DualShock 4 on your PC. Now, of course, you're probably going to have to deal with a couple of problems such as the button layouts will still show in the game or whatever game you're playing. For example, let's say you're playing Assassin's Creed, it will say push A, but it's actually X because the button layout A, B, X, Y. But it's not a big deal because... I mean, I already know where A is, I already know where X is, so I'm kind of used to the layout. But some games such as Far Cry 4, you could completely change the layout to a PlayStation layout. So it actually displays X and square on the PC, which is really cool. But uh, that's pretty much the I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. With you is Rasha the Arab Gamer, gaming from the Arab world, Yaziz. Yeah,